Sarsomaz K2, 45 caliber. We're doing a kitchen countertop review. We got shadows going on, but we're not professional on this video video uh, situation here. All right, you got a box. What does it come with? It comes with only one magazine in the gun. Here's a spare magazine. These magazines are made by Metgar. These things are flipping good. It's got a lock. Okay, notice this location for a nice cleaning bottle, cleaning fluid. Doesn't come with it. Okay, it's got some cleaning rods down there. It's got a little tool for operating the sights. Now, you notice here, there's two guns. Why is there two guns? Well, because you got two hands, right? These are 14 shot 45s. I'm not a big fan of 45. I don't really think there's much difference between a 45 and a 40 caliber, but I'm not here to debate all that crap. I mean, if you want to go with power, go with the M10 millimeter. But these are 45 caliber pistols. All right. Now, here's the situation. Do we do a safety check? Yeah. Okay. The damn thing's the damn thing's uh, gonna blow a hole in my counter, right? No, it's it's clean on the uh, safety aspect of it. It's not loaded. We did a check on that. Okay, boom, right, not loaded. That's how you do a safety check, right, folks? Now, um, but this thing is flipping comfortable, all right? It's a 14-shot 45. I got medium-sized hands. They're not giant. They're medium size, and that thing is as comfortable as a Sig Sauer, if not more comfortable because it's got a little bit more width than a Sig Sauer 226 9mm, but it's not so wide like a pair of ordnance, okay? This thing is comfortable. Now, I did have some jams. You'll see some videos where I had some jams with this, this weapon right here. People were saying, oh, well, you're operating, the, uh, you're operating the slide stop with your thumb. I don't know if you can tell, but I can't even reach that slide stop. Okay, this right here is the safety. And the slide stop, when I'm holding the gun like that, is in front. Now, when I hold it two-handed, I'm still not able to operate that slide stop. But somebody was saying, oh, your gun jammed because you hit the slide stop. No, actually, it didn't happen. I thought that could be it, you know, but then I went to the range again and held the gun again, and it's not the case. All right, then I also have a problem with this, with this gun shooting high. So... I went to the range, and of course I loosened the screw to try to adjust it where I can keep it from shooting high. That didn't seem to do the trick, and somebody said, well, you don't loosen the screw, you tighten the screw. Well, that's great, but guess what? The damn screw was tight enough already. I mean, it was too tight. It was tighter than it would turn. I couldn't turn it anymore. So the gun was made with sights that shoot six inches high at 25 yards. Can I live with that? Sure, all i got to do is aim six inches lower than where I want to hit. You know, no big deal. Just know how the gun shoots. But really, I might try to get some sights on it that are night sights that, uh, that might adjust properly. Uh, you know, I don't know. I have to look into that. It's a nice gun. It did jam a few times in the first 45 rounds. Is that a, uh, you know, deciding factor as to, well, yeah, you know, you need to depend your life on it. But... Uh, I got these guns for right around 450. That's why I went ahead and got a second one. Then they've jumped up into the five. They are finished slightly differently, and there is a, a difference. This gun right here says SAR K2 right there. The other one says SAR K2 slash 45. And this one here says, uh, it says EAA rock ledge here, and it, it has some type of, I don't know what you call that, but it's more or less like a sticker right there. It says EAA Rockledge, Florida, right there, and here it's actually uh, ingrained into the metal. It's uh, it's cut out with the uh, the writing, and here it's just some kind of epoxy sticker thing. But uh, and this this gun is not finished quite as well. The quality control, if you look at some of the edges, they're just not quite as nice as this one. This one was the original one, but surprisingly, I think the serial number on this one is lower. So this gun might have been made first and this one second. I'm not sure how that works, but they're nice guns. Do I want to depend my life on them? Not until this one starts rock and rolling a little better, and I've never fired that one, but I'm not afraid to take it to the range and start firing it. The sights, however, like I said, six inches high. They're not going to adjust any better. It's a 14 shot plus one 45. They, they started making them maybe in a stainless slide. The, the frame is all steel. It's not... It's not an, uh, an aluminum alloy frame, so it's a very heavy gun. It may be good in a shoulder holster. I don't think it would be good on anything like inside the pants. 
I mean, it'd be great for home defense. Uh, it's got that Piccaninny rail, if that's what you call it. Uh, you can attach the uh, lights or lasers or whatever to it there. But nobody makes any grip lasers for it right now. It is a CZ design. The, the, excuse me, the slide fits inside the frame, and it takes you take it apart the same way you do a CZ by that that magazine release right there. You pop it out. You got some lined up uh, dots. You got a dot right there. You line up that dot with that dot on the slide, the slide and frame dots by pulling it backwards about like that and then you pop the slide release out from this side pushing it right there real hard and popping it out and the whole gun will come apart so it comes apart like a CZ built like a CZ these are Sarsal Maz made in Turkey I'll go ahead and tell you my opinion my opinion is they're real nice guns um, now a Sarsal Maz representative was shooting one and he had a kind of a failure to feed when he was racking it so you know they got they got some types of little flaws but I'm going to stick with them for right now, and uh, this is my tabletop, countertop, kitchen top review, and uh, my first one, so go easy on me, guys, on my thumbs up, you know. Take care. Thank you.